are you doing? Welcome to Fabulous Home TV. I promise you, this is the best 30 minutes which you guys are gonna spend watching TV for a while. Are you a tenant? Have you ever dreamt about owning your very own home? Then come on down to Fabulous Homes International Guyana to explore how easy it is to own your very own home. We are making this process uncomplicated so that you, yes you, can become a homeowner. We're on a mission to turn tenants into homeowners all over Guyana. Visit our local offices at 16 New Street, New Amsterdam, upper floor of the Gordons Mall, or our main office at 9 Church in Camp Street. It's the last building on the right before you get to Camp Street. We look forward to seeing you soon. No more worry and stress, dancing, no interest. Don't second for less. Go ahead. Together we can. Always there for you. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Dr. K. I am at the lovely, lovely Miss Simona Brooms. Yes, she's one of our government ministers. She's a fantastic, phenomenal woman. And we're going to talk to her about all the wonderful accomplishments that she has made in this market. Well, you know I call everything a market, right? In Guyana and everything that she has been doing throughout the years. Her story is impeccable. And I know it can shed so much of a light, not from the side of her just being a minister, but from the fact that she is a woman, all woman, and she has done some amazing, amazing things, and she has made such an impact in Guyana that I believe her story needs to be told on another level. So hey, Miss Simona, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But you know, we had to come and, you know, <laughs> That's all right. Come to your home, and you know, we don't want to bring you out to the studio yet. This is perfect, this is absolutely perfect. Yeah. But I want you to share with some of our viewers from a perspective of not just minister but from a woman of impact. What are some of the let's let's put it like this let's start first with mining. That's your baby, right. Share some of those stories, like how you got into it, and what are some of the challenges you face being a woman miner, and so on and so forth. I don't want to, you, you know, you, you just do all the talking right there on that part. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, thank you so much. I think um, indeed it is a story by itself. Mm -hmm. um, me being a woman miner in the past 20 something years ago, you could imagine everything was different. Yes, yes. The road was different, the interior, some of the locations were different. Mm -hmm. The kind of equipment that is in the sector now um, mm -hmm. was not there. Mm -hmm. And I started mining from shovel and spade. Oh, wow. Yeah, where we dig the pits and then you get your battle uh -huh. and your spin. So when you see a little goal in the battle, it brings an excitement. Uh -huh. um, and but, but those were the, the pleasure, you know, the aspect when you're searching. I like uh -huh. to discover, I like to make a difference. I yes, like facts yes, and so yes, forth. Yes. Um, and what really happened then, I, when I started, I was, I was born and raised in Bartica. My parents are St. Lucians. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, my father was a contractor oh, okay. who built some of the interior roads yeah, in the UMRP that. days and so forth. Look, People look, wouldn't look know look that. that. Mm -hmm. And um, my mother herself um, used to sell like fuel and all of that yeah. at one time in the interior. Um, but being it is a mining town, mm -hmm. um, I was going to school at Barrick at that time. There's no university. Your parents yes, are in yes, You have no yes. family. Uh -huh. um, you don't start to think after school, what are you going to so do? So both of them are St. Lucian? Both of them. So you're like part both Guyanese, of them. part St. Lucian? I'm not part nothing. <laughs> I'm Guyanese, you're Guyanese plus St. Lucian. Got you, Yeah, got I have you. some of that yes, blood in yes. me. But I was born and raised in Guyana. Guyana. I ain't yes. got no dual citizenship. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, anyhow. <laughs> Yes, they have yes, whole yes, a lot of people from all of the West Indies. Yes, yes in that's Antarctica, true. Seriously. Yes, 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 yes that's that true. Is definitely and true. so I'm mm -hmm. coming from there. Um, you know, in those days, so I'm thinking, 
when I leave school, I want to be a successful woman. I want to be a millionaire. Yes. I want to be a millionaire before I got to the age of 20. I know, that's right. And um, in my mind, I'm thinking in Bardica, there's not much jobs, but mm -hmm. how do I become this millionaire? You know what? I'm going to go in the interior. It's challenging, but yes. um, I like it. I'm going to take it on. There you go. And um, I wanted to be one of the female miners, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, reputable female miners. Yes. You know, those, those days, I say, I'm forced to reckon with. Yes. So before getting in, <laughs> there you know I started to condition my mind mm -hmm. um, so the dangers in the road and the rapids um, and the forest mm -hmm, it didn't mm -hmm. matter to me there you go you know as if I mm -hmm. you know I was expecting it yes yes I'm not scared of anything there you go there is no fear I fear only God exactly yeah but I mean I don't care if I'm in the middle of the desert and there's no light um, and when I come back from mm -hmm. come out of that environment into the audio, like wow, you right know, in there, um, right? and mm -hmm. so, but also as a woman, mm -hmm. um, you were labeled a prostitute. Oh boy, um, people believe that if you're going into the interior, yes, you know, what I mean, what you can go there to do, yes, um, you gotta go there picking fear. Okay. Wow, um. But I mean, that was not in my DNA. Mm -hmm. I go there to get rich. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I go there to search for gold and diamond. Exactly. I wanted to be a real woman of yes, money and class. Yes, yes. I want to be a woman that will have a story to tell. There you go. In difficult circumstances. Yes. Yeah. And so I did that. Um, I met my husband. Uh huh. And then so we were doing mining together. Yeah. Um, and I move into a four inch. You know, elevate yourself in, mm -hmm. in there. But although you're married and so forth. Um, mm -hmm. I always, as a woman, knowing it's a male-dominated sector, I also know that I have to take some responsibility. Correct. As a woman, Correct. how I carry myself, what do I do, mm -hmm. my all sorts of different things to ensure that that respect, I can't buy it, but I earn it. Correct. And Correct. I earned that respect Correct. very early. Well, look very at early. That. I look earned that. that respect. How would you say um, you earned that respect, though? Well, I had to represent myself, so yes. I had to earn that respect. I was nobody that, you know, I come, for example, there's a truck and I in my seat, mm -hmm. and all these men come. I used to go early. Okay. Catch a truck, get my space. Yeah. So, very sit, that was very important. Uh huh. Rather sit up on a rice bag, a flour bag, or a coconut bag, or an edo bag, was a big difference. Exactly. To travel 24 hours. Oh, wow. And so, when the mail come on on board and say, listen, hey, go down or you got to move, and that kind of thing, I'm mm -hmm. like, no, you can't be talking to me. Okay, you know? there you go. And I'm going to sit down there. Mm -hmm. And you want to show me some resistance, I show you some resistance when you realize that I take you no know, rollover mm -hmm. and I'm always equipped. Yes. Then before the end of the journey, I become big auntie. There you go. Because if you get a headache, I was the only body with two paint tablets in my bag. <laughs> if you're hungry, I was the only body had my little flask of food and so forth. Yes. And so everybody started to know me now. Yes, People looking yes, out for me. Yes. And if somebody is I mean, really hungry on a boat or so, mm -hmm. boy, big auntie. You gotta think, give your grace, you know. <laughs> and I was that person. If somebody, you know, seriously, somebody takes sick. Yes. If the woman meant anything you want, you could find it at my camp. Wow. And if I hear a man sick, two hours walking away from my camp, mm -hmm. and somebody passes and say, you know, the man will come in, he's sick, he can't even make it out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to nudge my husband and walk that two hour. When I go into two wow. hour, I walk with everything that I got in terms of a tablet, yes. some little medication, anything. Mm -hmm. And then I would go and see that person, malaria tablet. Oh, it's wow. malaria, but they don't have tablet. Wow. But look, I got a pack. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then sometimes I want a little small change to get home. You're really sick. I yeah. mean, even if it was my last year go out, so everybody wow. start to say, you know, this is a nice woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Big auntie. So if you come and you don't know me, yes. and you get disrespectful, so I don't even have to say anything. Somebody One of the other guys can tell yes. you no. Even the yes. truck driver said, well, yes. you can't catch this truck. No. <laughs> because she going and you're going to disrespect her. Exactly. You understand? And mm -hmm. so um, I got that respect. Um, dear. Wow. I like um, that. I like that. Do you, you guys know. hear? You hear? She yes. has gone into a male-dominated field and conquered it. And you told me that wasn't hard. I believe that that was one of the most hard, challenging things ever, right? Yeah. To go into a male-dominated field and create such an impact that you, if you go in there, you don't know her name. You don't even know. You shouldn't even be there, period. You shouldn't even be there, right? Anyhow, so... Yeah. I know we can talk about it over an hour, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. But be careful. Yeah. We can keep it an hour. Um, so tell me, I saw you were honored 
as a, an awardee for, for, for you were celebrated. Human, yeah, trafficking. human trafficking. It's not just trafficking. women. Human, human trafficking. trafficking. Yeah. But most of them are women, right? But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's human trafficking. Yeah. And tell us about that. Yeah, and you're right, it's human trafficking because it's both male and female. Um, mm. You know, while it is hard for the male and mm. um, because persons didn't know what is trafficking, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. story of the male um, is yet to be told, but yes. of course the women, it was very challenging, but I was moved by my experience. Okay. Because as that woman with that respect in the interior, mm -hmm. you know, seeing women come, little girls, somebody want to know, like, listen, what is the girl doing in this? You know, before you don't know what is the story. Yes. But then I started to find out, like, I come, who are you? What your name? Mm -hmm. What you're doing here? Mm -hmm. You don't belong here. Mm -hmm. I would put them on the next truck going out and yes. send them out. Yeah. And the shop owner wouldn't put up resistance to me because yes. remember, everybody, you know, if they had hot them, Correct. they got to come by Broomsey. Yes. So somebody else, and that experience is what really moved me. Um, it is a sad experience, it's painful, because mm -hmm. I would have rather not to ever come across a victim of oh, human wow. trafficking wow. than to have a story about mm -hmm. um, anyone about human trafficking. It is something that destroyed the lives of women from wow. a young, young age. I mean, I heard a woman said to me, you know, um, somebody who's raped, you never really recover. I never um, really ever. But then you could imagine that you were just a sex tool to anybody, anybody. everybody. Yes. Have no control over wow. your body. Wow. I mean, wow. it's, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I risk my life often time. Mm -hmm. I risk my life knowing mm -hmm. also that I'm taking a big risk. Wow. If I had to do it, I'd do it again because yes. I risk my life that somebody's life could be saved or can yes, be better. Yes, yes, yes. And at that time, you know, that is the decision, that is the bottom line that it, it came down to. Yes. Um, the Gallery of Miners organization, when I formed the organization, it was a brainchild, the mm -hmm. logo, the color, every, every single thing. That's all we're going to talk about Every next. single Tell thing. Tell you how that um, came about, yes. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. because of the experience and to get yes. this organization and to mobilize women mm -hmm. from that mining sector to speak out against it. Yes, I yes. am not the only woman there now. Yes. By that time, 2012, a lot of women now in the sector mm -hmm. and just moving on as if it is business as usual. Wow. And, and um, when I formed that organization, mm -hmm. it was amazing to see how many women came forward and joined the organization and, and support um, that, that initiative. But I never leave the danger. Mm -hmm. To anyone else. You took if that. we go in and res rescue us, listen, this You're is my it. choice. Yeah. I don't need sympathy, I need support. Correct. Once I get this support, yes. I am going to take the gamble. There you go. If the police, I got to bring them out, I go. Mm -hmm. When I'm out here, who the police got to interrogate is me. Exactly. Who got to go before the court you. is me. Yes. You understand. And I did it because I did not want to be selfish or my passion mm -hmm. to put the other people's lives in danger true, who are supporting true, true, as true. much as possible. I wanted to to be that eagle, you know, to, to, yes, to spread that way yes. and, and that protection for them also. Because I knew, like I said, mm -hmm. that it's risking your life. And, and I, I made the choice. I want somebody else really got to suffer correct, um, correct. because of the decisions that um, I would have made. Mm -hmm. um, it's heartrending. They were children. Yes. Uh, most of them were little from girls. What age? Um, from twelve to oh, the God. eldest, I rescued. I think it was thirty-one. Wow. Um, but most ninety percent, ninety-five percent was mm -hmm. between the age of twelve to eighteen, seventeen. So how did it get there? Somebody brought them there, yeah, yeah, or yeah. they were lured oh. there. Or? Well, they were being lured there for uh -huh. jobs. Yes, um, yes. Some people were even kidnapped. A young oh, lady boy. was lured there by a police wow. who actually had charged and got sentenced and things like that. Um, and she was just a child. She was 12 years. Wow. She turned 13 when she was in the fields. Um, and so it was, it was horrible. I think that in those days, um, coming, raising that awareness, I wanted to do it for Guyana and to clean Guyana up in the sect. I thought I was doing it good. Yes. And it provoked, I must say, the government at that time. When yes. people talk about getting locked up innocently, <laughs> I was locked up. You was locked I up. I was locked up innocently. Yes. Um, for a woman uh -huh. who trafficked six girls that I rescued, assaulted me, 
And it took me nine months myself to get the police and when they got the young lady uh -huh. to arrest me. Oh, wow. And the police then put it in the papers that they have evidence and they have a medical that I assaulted her and I stole oh, her chain. Wow. You see the political damages, wow, but wow, wow. God is always watching over me. And you know what? He said to me, um, I went to the DPP. Yes. Um, and so listen, the case is there. And when the DPP checked the file, yes. the police said they can't find the doctor who did the medical oh, and wow. this witness that they already had out in the press. Yes. That is wickedness to the highest. Wow. But you know what? I was very, very thankful at that time for the mm -hmm. DPP because it is not to say the DPP knowed me. Yes. It was a favor of God yes. that came upon me yes. and for her to do the right thing. Correct. And Correct. she did the right thing because it was Correct. true. It was very, very clear um, in what she did. And, you know, I people got a lot of things to say about, like, any woman who's out there and doing yes. stuff and, yes. and that kind of thing. But, you know, from then on, before I knew the DPP, you know, I said, God, you know, I just thank God for her because, man, she did the right thing because I could have been incarcerated innocently. Yes. And now they've um, been and without cause. Exactly. Fighting for the rights. Could you imagine me. that? Yes. Could you imagine? Do you see why you're a phenomenal woman? <laughs> 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 because there are yeah. not too many people out there yeah. that are going to, yeah. according to my brother, he's a true old belly like that yeah. for people. Yeah. There aren't too many people yes. that would but go that But that is an interview mile. by itself that mm -hmm. would take, um, I think, a whole book. <laughs> I um, know, so I, I know, know we got know. just the hour. Yes, I would, you know, yes. really want to share um more more deep um but i saw that award when it came as yes. one of protection yes yeah um uh -huh. for me because i was in deep deep trouble that time yes so many death threats so many things i have was been i was going through um and having my children yes at that time when i formed the organization i oh, just wow. came back from a surgery i was paralyzed Oh boy. And I went to Cuba and I did this wow. massive surgery. By the wow. time I found my feet, I moved on with that. Um, wow. And then at that time, um, I had no support of my husband and things like that. Yes. So I had to then beat it up there yes. um, as a single parent. People like to say, like, you're a single parent. You're yes. anybody yes. all this yes. PT or this poor yes. woman. <laughs> you know, poor woman, get up and catch yourself. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because we all can do it. That's you have it. been doing it. Yes. I mean, I have been doing it. There you go. And so I don't want viewers or any woman looking at this show to start getting all... <laughs> Yes, oh, sorry, I know, out. I know, because that was my next question. Um, <laughs> what advice? Because you guys have heard her story. This is amazing. I think you should write a book about your experience. I think it'll be a bestseller. It really <laughs> would. It would, I promise. Yeah. What advice do you have for that woman out there that is going through stuff? She has not even tipped the iceberg of what Miss brew has been through. But what advice do you have for them that are going through things that are thinking, oh, you know, I can't do this, or this is too hard, or this is some male-dominated feel. I can't do this because this is not really designed for me to do. Like, I'm in construction. Mm -hmm. Me, construction, right? What a coincidence. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> right? So you're, like, challenge, you're taking on these male-dominated feel and doing a great thing. You're... Yeah. you're creating an impact but something yeah. that's lasting yeah. so share some advice with them well How i think first thing i want to say to women i think because of who we are and our emotions we mm -hmm. tend to go for sympathy yes yeah i want to say to women don't go for sympathy mm -hmm. go for the support there you because go. you can be anything all we need is what we have correct is god on our side we're special yeah we're special we then some of the major things, if you read in the Bible, mm -hmm. you check all the Mary, yeah. Mary Magdalene. You mm -hmm. mean you can check it. You, you can know who gave birth to Jesus. Correct, and correct. if we reflect on those things, we can understand how special we are. Yep. Listen, I am very special, and you're very special. You're going to be so successful in that construction. Um, and to say to women that you have to hold on there, it comes at a big price. Because yeah. as a woman, I'm there. If you're in the mining, like I said, somebody can say, oh, she got to be a prostitute. They know nothing but you. They never see you before. No, exactly. You're there, exactly. you know, with the mining, you walk on the road. Yeah. You were the male. I'm yeah. a minister. You guys cheer for, oh, she there with somebody, uh, husband, yeah. somebody. There's people would say all these things about yes, you. Yes, yes, But it's the truth in who you are. Correct. Will keep you. 
right? Purpose. Who you are is deeper. Yes. Don't crumble to what people think, mm -hmm. what people feel, and what they have to say. No. Go with that little voice. The people that is there to support. Yes. Go with that. Yes. Choose support yes. over sympathy. There you go. Yeah, sometimes you look for sympathy, that's why you're running the hand from one man to the other, exactly. to the other, to the other, to the other, Talking without around, right? looking at your <laughs> skills and your ability and what can you do. Yes. You know? And then sometimes we women can be our own greatest enemy. Correct, correct. So, correct. I mean, go for support. Yes. Go for the support. Choose sympathy Leave. over support. Choose sympathy yeah. over support. Choose. Yeah. No, not sympathy over support. No, choose support, support over, over sympathy. sympathy. Yes, don't yeah. go the other way around. Support. You say your brain is wired. Yeah. Choose support over sympathy Definitely. because you can do it. If you Ms. Can. Brooms can do it, and there's so many other phenomenal, fantastic yeah. women that have done some amazing things with their lives, and each of them have a story. And if you were to just gather or take one key point out of every story, you can make a phenomenal impact yourself, mm -hmm. right? Yep. I always tell you guys also, chase purpose. Chase purpose, yeah. chase purpose, chase purpose. Not people, yeah. purpose. Mm -hmm. And you'll see how dramatically your life changes. Well, as always, guys, you know, this is still Fabulous Homes TV. And uh, while we focus on this phenomenal lady, we got to come back and talk to she again. I know she can more, more, more. Like <laughs> She got lots more stories and stuff. Um, we also want to encourage you guys to think about home ownership, right? Think about how it would feel for you guys to own your own home. I remember what Ms. Broom just said, y'all. Choose support over sympathy. Find a way as to how you can build around a program that we do have here. We did tell you guys, as we've been saying for years, there are the layaway program, you have the box and program, you have a program that is designed for all of you. And for those of you that have been thinking, oh my God, I don't know, I'm going to do it. I don't think I can make it happen. Or you're sitting on the fence wondering how these other people don't get to their home and you're asking yourself, well, really, did they do this? Could they do this? Could they really make this happen? Yes, yes, they have. But you have to decide now. Um, what can I do? Or how can I do it? Leave the house to us. You guys come and see us as normal about finding a way, creating a package around your income. Because remember, at the end of the day, as we told you guys, it's your money that is building your house. You don't need a bank loan. If you want to get a bank loan, you can. But you don't need a bank loan. You will set aside your money just like normal because there's no interest. There's absolutely no interest on your homes. You will piece that money together. What do you say? One month that he just built a whole dam. Yes. Until you get to your very own home. There's hundreds of you that have done this before you. And it's only up for you now to decide, hey, if I have my land and I don't have all the money to build my house right now, come see us at Fabulous Homes because there's a way. And no, all the homes are not expensive. They're quality built. But we're not going to have you break the bank trying to make it happen. There are homes from $4 million all the way up to twenty, based on what you can afford. Because as normal, we're not going to have any of you hang your hat where your hand cannot reach it. All right? Period. We don't want you to buy more than what you can afford. And at the end of the day, we want to see you on a platform somewhere with me giving y'all y'all keys to y'all very own home. That's, you know, that's what I live for. Miss... Bruce, yes. we gotta get her one of these, the Oasis. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yeah. yes, big big yes. we gotta yeah. give her one of these ones yeah. soon. But you could still get one of the smaller ones. Yeah. And those are great investment properties and so on. Any thoughts on home ownership or anything that you want to no, share? I think, I mean, first thing I want to really, really congratulate you. I think it's, it's a need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you heard me mentioning about being the woman of change. I think yes. you're a woman of change because oh, you. what you're doing is mm -hmm. working on changing someone's life. Correct. And, and that is remarkable because a lot of persons think it's how much money you got. Yes. That can yes. get you a home. Yes. But 
you know that you have that advice, you have that place because you can have how many money, how much money you want, mm -hmm. and like you talk about, you don't know your purpose. No. You're not focusing. No. You don't have somebody pushing you. What True. you're doing, you're pushing persons. You're yes. pushing women. Yes. You're pushing men. Hey, you're yes. pushing young people. Yes. You can own your own home. Yes. And you can talk to me. You don't have to pay to talk to me. No. You don't have to go to the bank who you can't talk to. Correct. The bank is about when I give you the money with the interest you got to pay with the money you get back. Mm -hmm. Right? But to work with somebody like you, and I heard about your package from $4 million, I mean, up to as however, high as, as high to, as you want based to on go. What they can qualify for based on what you qualify you for. It's unbelievable. To, a lot of them are buying more than they can afford, and then two, yeah. three years, you are yeah. having all these anxiety yeah. attacks because yeah. you can't afford the house no more, and then you put on all this money because there is no 100% loan here in Guyana. So when you put 20, 10, 15, 25, 35% down and then you lose it? You know what? People talk no. about people talk about the money, but I frankly believe mm -hmm. that even if I can own my own home starting, because it's not where you start, but no. it's where you will finish. Correct, correct. And I can afford and I can start a four million dollars house. And I move out of my mother's home, mm -hmm. summer renting house that yes. I got to pay yes. that don't belongs to me. Correct. I can move into my own home. Yes. And I can pay that rent to own what already belongs to me. Correct. And then as I move up, because you remember I have purpose. Yes. Yes. Things start to change. Yes. I now understand what it, it what I have to do to own my own home. Yes. How can I save? Yeah. Maybe I might start with a one bedroom. I can add a two another bedroom. To it. I mean I could start from low i can go up high there i can go. go up high with not a dog <laughs> stage so i mean there you go it's a, so when when situation there i you mean go. you make it seem as if you're excited to talk to me but i'm excited <laughs> to talk to you too because i, I mean i mean i got my little house in Sony yeah. Barney, but um you know when i finish the little work Yes. Your retirement villa. You understand me? Going bill right back there. I mean, I received it prophesied for me. What going Exactly, on? exactly. Huh? You're building no art, Mary. Your ego. You build something that you see in your head from since you was a child. And working. And, 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 and yes. you working, working and work and honestly and get your own home. Yes. It's that unbelievable. Is it. That is it. It's, it's unbelievable. It. And like I tell you guys, they don't even have to find all of the money. We start constructions when you guys get the 50% of the cost. We give you your keys once you get the 75% of the cost. We are matching the 25%. So you guys get to move in and pay off your house while you're living in your house. All right? And at the end of the day, it's yours. Nobody can. You don't have to ask permission to change the color paint on your wall. All right? You don't have to send a letter to your landlord asking for permission for this and that and all these different things. You don't have to do that. It's your house. If you want to extend it, it's yours. If you want to break down yeah. something and build back something, it's yours. And people don't, don't understand how passionate I am about this because I figure if you get one house, that is the start of everything else. You know if why you you're just passionate? own one house. You know why you're passionate? Because when you own that first house, house. or you own your own home, mm -hmm. and from a woman's standpoint, mm -hmm. it raises your self-esteem. Correct. There you go. Listen to me. It is different. Yes. I've had that experience yes. young. Yes. And I wouldn't yes. trade it for nothing. There you go. And that is why I would push everybody that I know. Mm -hmm. But did you apply? If, I mean, you, got, you should own your own home. You don't, you got to land, well, apply. If you don't if apply, you don't you, you just, know? I mean, you got to start somewhere. Yes. Right? Start. Because I know that feeling. Correct. It's unbelievable for, as a woman, mm -hmm. listen to me, changes everything. You can't go and get, you don't try to get a vehicle before a house. That's what I do. Trust me. <laughs> you get a house and then you buy that vehicle. There listen, you, you see when you're you driving see? into exactly. your own place in your own vehicle. Exactly, right? It is different. Correct. It is different. Correct. We do a home right. buying, um, it's, it's an info session that we do every single month. And they're like, but Miss K, if I buy the car first, I can get the money to buy this house. No, <laughs> you have been taught incorrectly. It's done in reverse. Yes. Get the house first. The one house that you have, yeah. you're building it at not what it's being sold for on the market right now. So therefore, you're actually getting a house that has equity in it. Yeah. So you bought a $4 million house. Mm -hmm. That house is worth at least $9 million, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you are now moving into a $4 million house with $5 million in your pocket, people. 
right? You can now use that five million to go and borrow against, to go and buy your car, your bus, start your business, take your vacation, all these different things that you want to do later on because you have the financial capability to do that now. If you bought the car from the time you pull off the car lot, yeah. the value of the car will it. And, right? and then, no, stick a bit, please. If now somebody, <laughs> and I want to talk to nobody, uh -huh. just run into you like the head and go there crazy. I mean, there you go. where does that leave you? You have nothing. But you have nothing. Absolutely you have nothing. 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 You know, nothing I, would say, I would say own your home first. Mm -hmm own your home and then when you finish look for if you have a job well that is fine you want to do or this. if not you get some daily income mm -hmm. so that even if you go now to look for things for luxuries like a car or so forth there you go that i mean you already own your own home and then you gotta see how you work it out but i That's think it, it is wonderful and having someone to manage yes I just want to talk about this little piece mm -hmm. because you're into construction, some people don't know. Mm -hmm. Women, when we go to build things like houses and so forth, <laughs> because we don't them. know, we yes. take everything, all we money, and put it in the small <laughs> hand because yep, he said yep, he's a contractor. Yep, 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 we don't know yep. five eight steel from half yep, inch steel. Yep. We don't know nothing, nothing but soil nothing, foundation. Nothing, nothing. So they we don't know but columns. Thing. Yes. And sometimes you spend a whole set of money, you get a 12 contractors. Yes. And everyone is and then not money too. and everyone you pay and then you mm -hmm. lose you got break off this and you got to put yes. it on back. Let me yes. tell you, I wish yes. I had the opportunity that a lot of people have now. Mm -hmm. It's to have you around. Yes. To get advice. <laughs> to say how you can advise me. Yes. Right? And then you come up so I can go through it. Mm -hmm. You you come in the foundation, this is what the foundation, Correct. this is what is needed, Correct. this is what is happening. Correct. So while Every I'm building the way, you know, I'm being educated on. exactly. Yes. So when I'm ready to build the second house, mm -hmm. and the third and the fourth and the fifth, I mean, I already got to have some. <laughs> no, I mean, it's serious. Yep, yep, yep. I know that. I mean, how yep. do you get paid? Here, it is designed. The program that we created was designed as philanthropy, right? Oh. When we came into the market, I wanted a way to give back, right? Oh. I've spent many years in the U.S. and this is all I've done, mm -hmm. and I started young. So that's why it's like I encourage mm. people to start young. Even when we hire people, we hire them young, 18, 19, 20, 25, up to 25. Yeah. Because we figure if you start early, yeah. it gives you a better advantage in life, yep. right? Yep. So our first 5,000 families, oh, none of the homes that we built are what the money that you guys are paying for it right now. Mm. None of them. So I got to bring you out to see it a couple, you know, sometime soon. So they're getting value for their money. We are getting the fact that we are making sure that you know that you have options. That's how we're mm. benefiting right now. Yeah. We make sure the contractors are paid well, mm -hmm. but we benefit in the long run. Because mm -hmm. the more families that we have on board that are building with us, and this has been going on for 10 years now, we'll just be one of those people that probably you wouldn't go anywhere else. When you're ready to start building anything, because now you are an educated builder. Yeah. You know what is going on. You have an opportunity yeah. to yeah. get your house. You, really you get a woman and you yes. them in this male sector. That That's it. In. There's about 67% of the women that are yeah. part of our program already. And they still bring their husbands along. We still want them to do that. Yeah. But I am happy that the mindset is now changing. It didn't happen overnight. This is 11 years it, next yeah. year, yeah. right? Yeah. But now I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. That's why I tell people, whatever you do, you've got to stay consistent. Mm -hmm. Because in year three, you know, it's like, you know what, just catch a plane and go back, you know, because it didn't yeah. make any sense. It's true. But it's true. you hang on and you say, you know what, let's do this. Mm -hmm. If one person get it and two get it and 10 get it and 20 get it, yeah. guess what? Yeah. The news is going to spread yeah, and they're going to come and have an opportunity to own something. And we do benefit from the fact, not only from those folks, but the fact that we have an ability to, you will make some money. Yeah. But if you, there's volume in what okay. you do, yeah. instead yeah. of looking, most contractors, they say, oh, this house is 100 million yeah. to build it, right? Yeah. And then you build one house in a whole year. Yeah. Why don't you assist 100 people yeah. to build that same house? Yeah. And that's how they, that's how yeah. you benefit later on, that. right? The goal is volume, numbers. Yeah. You get more people interested. They get to a point where they can now build their homes, move into their homes. They're going to tell their friends and family, and you're going to continue growing. That's it. In the it, story. It's amazing. If you didn't have the passion that you have, 
you would have not have stuck in it yep. for 10 years, yep. even if it had a whole set of money, because it's yep. not an easy feel. It's not easy. Oh my God, and to it's deal not with people, deal with me who people. know nothing but build it and then to <laughs> tell you about this house, convince you to build it until it materializes oh in front goodness. of your face. I mean... You're poor. You're I mean, mean with them. <laughs> you, you're talking about me, but you're a phenomenal woman. You're something yourself. That is the part where they used to get so like, Father, you know, you don't sleep at night because yeah. it takes you all over. All over, yes. What about this front step? <laughs> I didn't like the board. I, I don't like the color paint, but then you're saying the house has only been primed. But I think it's color yet. <laughs> no, but 2 a.m. in the morning, yeah. they're done freaking out yes. about. They want to yeah. know. So, so we can change it and we can put it on the side, all right? Or what about if we just do an extra piece? Oh, but it never it's ends, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Whoa. Anyways, guys, we gotta yeah. wrap this up. If you guys need to find out more, please go online yes. to fhigy.com or that's Fabulous Homes International, Guyana.com, or find us on all over social media, Facebook.com, that's Fabulous Homes Guyana, or on YouTube, you can follow me on the Caribbean Queen of Real Estate, or Fabulous Homes TV, whichever. We're very, very transparent and we're very much out there. We want you guys to see everything. We want you guys to hear the experiences of all the people that have done it. I want you guys to see the house going from foundation to curb wall to columns to roof, everything. I want you guys to see everything. And at the end of the day, I want to give Yaya keys to yeah. your own home. There's a the part that I live for. But I want to thank Miss Minister Simona Brooms. You were just You're awesome. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited because I mean, I done got something to tell you. We oh got something to talk about myself. I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know. So, yes. okay. um, anything else you would like to just wrap up it and just tell the folks? Well, no, I just really want to thank you and I want to encourage mm -hmm. persons. I think it's a great opportunity. Make good use of it. Um, fabulous home and somebody that is there to walk you through, literally to protect you and to ensure that you have that keys. I mean. I really want to thank you also. You're a godsend. I mean, a lot, a lot of people might not know it, but mm -hmm. you know, I have that experience. So I just want to encourage persons to check it out. Too many of us don't own our own homes. True. The way to go is ownership. Yes. Yeah, ownership, own things. And I think all Guyanese, we mm -hmm. need to start to pick up that mentality of owning things. Correct. Live as you. Because I want to live at me. Correct. And you can do that with Fabulous Home. There you so, go. So thank you so much. And I thank wish you, you all the best. I appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you a tenant? Have you ever dreamt about owning your very own home? Then come on down to Fabulous Homes International Guyana to explore how easy it is to own your very own home. We are making this process uncomplicated so that you, yes you, can become a homeowner. We are on a mission to turn tenants into homeowners all over Guyana. Visit our local offices at 16 New Street, New Amsterdam, upper floor of the Gordons Mall, or our main office at 9 Church in Camp Street. It's the last building on the right before you get to Camp Street. We look forward to seeing you soon. No more worry and stress. Dancing, no interest. Don't settle for less. Go Together we can. Always there for you.